hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of beauty diys so in today's video we're going to be making an auto gele so to start off this is my fabric it's a square fabric which is about 21 by 24 inches So the first thing that I do on this fabric is to fold down the edges and iron them just in preparation for hemming because I'm going to hem all edges of this fabric. Then I just put those little pegs to hold it down before I go to sew it down on the sewing machine. And after that, I measure this 2 inches by 21 inch strips of fabric. They are all different colors. As you can see, I was trying to go with an assortment of colors. And I basically just iron them out and then I fold them in half and then I iron them. And I do this for all these fabric strips. And after that, I now go to my fabric which I hemmed, remember, and then I now go onto one edge and then I start to put the fabric strip on the edge like that. And then I just try to layer them as I go along. So you first pin the first one down and then always make sure to fold in those row edges and then just stitch it down. Then I also do the same for the second, for the third, until I go to the fifth. So you have to layer them on top of each other so that the stitching does not show. So that was basically the last fabric strip and that is how the back looks like. I now went on to my fabric. So I put a layer of padding, my African print fabric and the inner fabric. So as you can see, I did patches of the fabric because I wanted to have like uh, many colors on the auto gallet so unfortunately i lost the video where i sewed them together but basically what you have there is your african print fabric on the bottom another african print fabric on top and the padding or baiting in the middle then i started to fold it the way i'm showing there in the video and as you fold i just went ahead and i used a hot glue gun so if you don't have a glue gun you can just go ahead and stitch your pleats together but what i found easier for me was to use a hot glue gun and it holds very very well the only problem is that once you glue you cannot go back and undo what, what you did because the glue is quite strong Then 
and I just kept on pleating and pleating and pleating until I go to the last pleat and Then I now took my fabric straps which I was going to attach onto the sides of these pleats. So this is basically just a 10 inches by 5 inches piece of fabric. And then I just wrapped the pleats around in the fabric like that and then I sewed the fabric strap on. Then you will now close any gaps that are left behind after sewing your fabric straps. So I'm going to be doing another auto gele video because I realized that I may have skipped a few steps in this particular video. So please if you have any questions or anything that you need clarification on, just put it in the comments section and then, then when I do my next auto gele video, I'll try to answer all the questions. And if there are any steps that you want me to show also in that video, let me know and then I'll definitely try to include them in the next video. So after making our plates and attaching the strap-ons on the side, I now took my plates, my layer of plates, then I placed it onto the corner of my, of my fabric block like that. On the square piece of fabric uh, so you need to make sure that it is a little bit curves so that it curves just a little bit the way you can see then I will go on to take about maybe one or two pleats of the first piece and those are the ones that I pin down And after that, I now use just my hands and a thick thread to sew through. Then I just sew it down using a thick needle and some thick thread. So you can put maybe three or four strands of threads to make sure that it stays down completely. So you, I just sewed until I got all the way to the other end. So this is what it looks like after sewing. Then I also went on and I sewed the back. So to tie the auto gele, I just put place it on my head like that 
and then so you also have to make sure that you hold the pleats down before tying and i think i should have actually made my pleats um a little bit longer because i realized it was a little bit short so when it's short it also makes your pleats look smaller it packs them and it makes them tighter but i think it was okay anyway then you just go ahead and tuck all the excess fabric and then you also shape it and make sure that everything looks okay so that is the results and so i'm going to be doing another auto girl as i promised so thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll definitely definitely hope to see you in the next one bye